This mechanism was founded by Rupert Victor Oppenauer. It is a mild method for oxidation of primary and secondary alcohols with ketones with stoichiometric amounts of metal alkoxides. It is highly selective for secondary alcohols. In 1925, three researchers hypothesized and described an oxidation very similar to the Oppenauer oxidation. A. Burley experimented with reduction of ketones and metal alkoxides. He found that sterically hindered ketones react very slowly. This was found in the same year. In 1926, W. Pondo found that the reaction was completely reversible by testing reduction of aldehydes and ketones. In 1937, steroids were oxidized in the secondary position with ketones by R. D. Oppenauer. This was the first time it has been proven. In the net synthetic transformation, the acetone and substrate alcohol binds to the metal ion. It forms a six-membered ring, and a hybrid transfer occurs from the alkoxide. An elimination involving alcalysis results in ketone or aldehyde as the major product. In this starting material, the acetone and the substrate alcohol bind to the metal ion. The starting material then undergoes a ligand exchange. This results in an alcohol acetone aluminum complex, which acti activates a hybrid transfer from the alkoxide. The hybrid transfer occurs in this transition state. This structure undergoes an elimination process of alkalosis to form a ketone or aldehyde. This is the final product of the oxidation. The reverse mechanism of this is the marine pondor burley reduction. This involves a reduction of aldehydes and ketones to an alcohol. Some general characteristics of this oxidation is that it's completely reversible. It can be completely driven by adding an excess of ketones. It is a very mild reaction. It is usually heated in acetone or benzene mixture. And most functional groups can be used, such as alkenes, alkynes, esters, and amides. This oxidation is also stoichiometric. It can be driven by stoichiometric amounts of the aluminum alkoxide. Some strengths of this reaction include that it is very high yielding, it is generally better than most other oxidation processes due to the mildness of the reaction, it is very inexpensive, it has non-toxic reagents so it would be very good for a lab experiment, the secondary alcohols are oxidized and that is much faster than the primary alcohols, chemioselectivity can be achieved, and no overoxidation of aldehydes to carboxylic acids, which is a very common thing in oxidation processes. There are very few limitations of this reaction. Uh, one might be a catalytic process. It's not possible if the ligand exchange is very slow, and only secondary and primary positions can be used, which is a limitation, but is also much quicker than tertiary and quaternary. A recent synthetic example is when Pavel Kovalsky and other researchers tested a modified version of the Oppenauer oxidation. It was used in the synthesis of estrone. Aluminum isopropoxide and an oxidizing agent were added to the starting material to obtain a high percentage of enon. Enon is synthesized with TSOH to form estrone. 